Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. So as students, have you ever thought about how a backbone is formed and what is the unit that forms a backbone? A backbone is certainly one of the most important part in a body and I don't think I have to tell you why it's so important, right? Okay, just kidding. Let's see how a backbone functions and what is the component that forms a backbone. So this is a backbone in a three-dimensional structure and the component that forms a backbone is called a vertebra. Let's see a two-dimensional image to understand it a little better. And boom, this is the two-dimensional structure of a vertebra or a backbone. As you can see, there are some letters written along with the numbers. These are different types of vertebra which unite together to form a backbone or to be more precise, the vertebral column. To understand about the vertebral column, we need to know certain points. Firstly, the vertebral column supports the body weight as you all know. Secondly, it is the central axis of the body. The vertebral column is made up of 32 to 34 vertebrae. The types and the number of vertebrae in the vertebral column are cervical vertebrae 7, thoracic vertebrae 12, lumbar vertebrae 5, sacral vertebrae 5 and coccygeal vertebrae 3 to 5. Okay, so do you know what the vertebral column is called in Latin? Any guesses? Okay, so I'll tell you, it is called as columna vertebralis in Latin language. Let's have a closer look to the structure of vertebra. This is a vertebra from different point of views. Firstly, this is the posterior view of a vertebra. This is the anterior view of the vertebra. And this is the lateral view of a vertebra. We have seen how does a vertebra look like. So the next question that comes to our mind is what are these parts which are being seen in the structure. So for this to answer, let's see the parts of a typical vertebra by taking different kind of vertebrae as examples. This is the structure of a thoracic vertebra. Let's see the different parts present in a typical vertebra. This is the pedestal of the vertebra whose function is to connect the vertebral body with the vertebral arc. Don't worry, we'll see these structures later too. This is a process of a vertebra called as transverse process. So let's understand what does a process mean. A process is an anatomical term for the word projection. This is the body of the vertebra which lies anteriorly and this pointed thing which you can see is the spinous process which passes backwards. So hey, you thought only these are the parts of a typical vertebra? If yes, so the answer is nah. Let's see other parts of a vertebra in a three-dimensional structure. This is a three-dimensional structure of a thoracic vertebra. So how do you think the vertebra are joined to other vertebrae? One of the things that joins the vertebrae together is the inferior articular process which has a facet that joins with the superior articular facet of the following vertebra. This is the superior articular process which has a superior articular facet. Let's see the parts which are left in this next structure. Okay, so as you can see this is the lamina of the vertebra which is an another anatomical term for plate. This hole which you can see is the vertebral foramen and these unite to form the vertebral canal through which the spinal cord passes. This curved structure is the vertebral arc. Some important points that need to be kept in mind when talking about the parts of a typical vertebra. The vertebral column lies anteriorly, that means towards the body. There are inferior and superior vertebral notches which are formed when the vertebra form the whole spine. The inferior vertebral notch is larger than the superior vertebral notch and to understand it, let's see it in a structure where vertebra are forming these notches. This is the structure of three lumbar vertebrae joined together. As you can see, these are the inferior and the superior vertebral notches and together they form the intervertebral foramen. The last but one of the most important part is the intervertebral disc which is made up of cartilage and these are present in order to reduce the friction between the vertebras which are joined together. So this is all about the parts of a typical vertebra. I hope you guys got a little idea about the vertebrae and how a backbone is formed. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.